Hello everyone, good morning. I have a few bugs came out yesterday from the oven and from the kern <laughs> and I uh, thought I would show you because I'm very happy. These are tests and uh, I I don't have the patience to use always text test styles when I want to like, go crazy and, f and try out like um, glazes on top of each other so I do it right away on mugs and I'm very happy with this. I want to share it with you because maybe you will try something out from this and it's very exciting, I, I think. Okay, so uh, this is a white clay and I put on white glaze on it and I brushed on the this uh, orange thing you see is rutil. So I just took rutil and water, I mixed it and when it, the, the white glaze was dry already, I just brushed on a very, very little bit of rutil came out like this, it's very orangey, it's almost dry, the orange part, and I quite like this, but I think I will go and continue to, to and do something else, because like I need another color, maybe blue, maybe cobalt on it, and then um, it, I think it, it will be better, but it's already kind of interesting. The first one. <clears throat> okay, this one is a combination of two glazes, one of is a white glaze, and on top of the white glaze, I put on a glaze that is called Randy's Red, that you can find on YouTube. It's a, it's a ceramicist guy, I really like him. Uh, he shares all kinds, of, um, all kinds of recipes, and this is his recipe, it's called Randy's Red. And I put on spots, and the spots kind of melted into the white glaze, and I like it very much. I'm very happy with this. Um, okay, this one is a uh, white glaze. It's another kind of white glaze. As you can see, this is very white, and this is a kind of white glaze that when you put it on on a red clay, it becomes kind of bluish. So I really like this glaze. Uh, it's this white glaze, and then on the top of the white glaze, I put on rutil. As you can see, the same orange color I got. And then between the rutil lines, I put on rutil together with um, red iron oxide. So I put like um, one part of red iron oxide, one part of rutil, mix it with a lot of water, <coughs> and this is what um, happened. I don't know what color is this, what do you think? It's, I think it's kind of um, brown color that I got. but. As you try it on different kinds of white glaze, you get a different color, a little bit of different color all the time. It depends what you have in the white glaze. Okay, here I really went crazy, crazy, crazy. And this is a white glaze. On top of the white glaze, it's um, floating blue. Like the first one, like the white glaze was until here, this part. So this underneath the, the blue one, you have the white. And on it, there is a blue glaze and then on the bottom, it's the same Randy's red, like here, but I didn't dip it, I brushed it. So it was, instead of kind of reddish or Bordeaux, it became brown. And then with, after the three glazes, I put here one, one um, little bit of white glaze that is called Lumos. And also if you look it, on, look it up on YouTube, the same guy puts on the glaze recipe, it's called Lumos, it's a very runny white glaze that you can put on top of all, all kinds of other um, glazes and see what happens, it makes very nice combinations. So as you can see, the Lumos kind of was pulling down the blue glaze and it dripped and this part I really like. If, if I would you know, leave it like this, I would be very happy, but then I thought that on the other side I also will put on Rutil. And then, okay, I brushed rutile like this, and it's, I think it was too much. It's really not so nice on this part. But also, it's also it's very interesting, so, you know, it would be nice for me, or maybe somebody will fall in love with it and I want it, I don't know. But, okay, so this is three kinds of different glazes, plus Lumos, actually four kinds of different glazes, plus the rutile. Okay. Uh, this one, <clears throat> it's inside white glaze, outside the rand is red. This, like, here you can see how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be kind of red, not brown. And then it kind of melted inside, which I really like. 
and then this is rutile on the red glaze. Now I was told that if I put rutile on red glazes it becomes kind of crystalline and the white and very very um, bright colors but for me on this glaze it just came out the same um, orangey but I, I don't mind I think it's cool. So. This one. <clears throat> and this is actually the, the that came out the most let's say normal <laughs> it's just a red the, the red uh, glaze this randy is red and on top of it the same lumos but just a little bit here and a little bit i put on here like the, there was this line here before i put it in the can and the line kind of the white line kind of melted into the whole thing and then here the white line you can also see the white so I, I'm very pleased with it. I don't know why, some, in some weird way, it reminds me Christmas. Don't ask me why, I, don't, I think it reminds me snow. <laughs> and it dripped a little bit, but I really like this kind of dripping when you, it's usable and you can, you can use it for years and nothing will happen, but it's also drippy. Like this. And the last one is the most crazy. I first I just dipped this in white glaze and I put spots very little spots with cobalt and rutile and then it melted like crazy because it's the lumos glaze glaze like the same drippy glazy glazy the the grippy ah, the drippy glaze the lumos so I put the on the whole thing and then the the spots melted so much look like this spot was like here yeah and it melted from here down here and stuff but it's nice that it stopped nicely and not in a way that you can't use this so i'm really in love with this crazy crazy drippy um mug but like next time i will i hope i will um you know somehow can make it stop here and not go all the way down here anyway this is the cobalt, and actually it's cobalt, um, not cobalt oxide, oxide, but cobalt carbonate with water that I brushed on in spots, and also the rutia, and it came out like this. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Make crazy mugs. Bye-bye. <laughs>